Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to go into the type 3 CCIs, uh, or instability at C2-3, and we'll go into a little bit about how those are treated. So again, I'll be out for six weeks, and that means that I've recorded uh, six of these videos. Uh, they'll be released one a week. And even though these won't have live Q&As, I'll be periodically jumping on Facebook Live on European Daytime to answer some uh, questions. Now we're talking about uh, the typing system for CCI that I put together. And this is C23 instability, and that's a type three. A is in flexion, and B is an extension. So type 3A is going to be instability in flexion. That's when the C2 moves forward of the C3. Uh, and that's when you look down. So the lax ligaments here are going to be in the back. On type 3B, it's the opposite. C2 slides backwards on C3. So the ligaments here, anterior longitudinal ligament, is going to be in the front. And the diagnosis is pretty easy to make, either on DMX or good quality cervical flexion extension x-rays. You can also many times see this on a high quality upright flexion extension MRI. And the symptoms are usually caused by wear and tear on the C23 facet joint. So I have here off to the right, those are the pain referral patterns for the upper neck facet joints. You can see that C23 tends to refer pain in a little bigger swath than C1, C2 to the back of the head. And C23 can also cause dizziness or imbalance or vertigo that's been well documented. So what kind of injections do you need? Now, if you've got the type 3A inflection, that the good news is literally just treating the posterior ligaments can make a big difference. So those are more posterior injections. But if you've got type 3B that happens in extension, then you're looking at a little bit more complex injections that have to come from the front and get that anterior longitudinal ligament. So that's going to be a level four or a level five injection. So for instance, a lot of patients that are already getting PICL have this in addition to other types of instability. So we can drop down using the anterior approach and easily get the C23 ALL or anterior longitudinal ligament. Uh, if we're not doing a PICL, then we've got to use an ultrasound guided and x-ray guided procedure to reach that anterior longitudinal ligament at C23 right from the, the front. So in summary, C23 can be unstable. This level when irritated can cause headaches and dizziness and balance. Uh, this type of instability is called type 3A or B CCI, 3A inflection, 3B in extension. If it's an instability inflection that usually involves the supraspinous, interspinous ligaments in the back that are unstable. If it's an extension that usually involves the anterior and longitudinal ligament that is loose. So depending on which type you have, this can be treated with precise injections. Uh, the flexion type 3A can be treated by just posterior injections. And the extension type 3B needs anterior and longitudinal ligament injections, which are a bit more involved. So thanks so much for watching. And